can't use a live one. There's no time I'm gonna vanish. Maybe him. Dude, are you okay? Try not to move. We're calling an ambulance. Yeah. Is he okay? That looks pretty bad. Hey, I'm not getting any reception. Your souls shall be purified and form the foundation of the world to come. A suitable vessel has been ready in anticipation of your arrival. Now, gather forth. The most noble end awaits you.
talking about? What are you? Look, just quit fighting! This body is mine now. You're already dead, kid. If I leave your body, you're toast. No way. What am I supposed to do? You don't have a choice about it. Obey me! No, I can't! There's something I have to do. Think I care about your problems? If you're gonna piss and moan, I'll find another body. And that'll be the end of you. Where? There's nobody here. <sighs> Smart ass. Look, I don't know what your deal is, but you're in my body. I don't take orders from you. Okay, tough guy. We'll do it the hard way. <laughs> Time for you to go away. Like, how it is. Damn it. Have it your way. I'll play along for now. You just remember your life is in my hands. It has a pain in the ass for me, and you're on your own. We're done. Now move. Don't order me around! Side. Leaks over to our side sometimes. Learn by doing, I say. Try hitting it. souls that have been separated from their bodies. For what? To drag them to the underworld. Or maybe just devour them. Either way, that soul's beyond saving now. We'll see. side, yet remain alive and well. One could hardly ask for a better observer. With this, my plan is complete. Don't touch her! And who are you? A human. There is another. It's you. <laughs> Nessiant fool. I liberated your spirit from its prison, yet still you cling to mortal flesh. That's right. Came back for you. Intriguing. Sheer strength of will. Alas, our business must wait. 
I told you to keep your hands off! I see she's your... still your fear. I will be her salvation. do something about it. It's been three seconds in the real world. One more breath, and you're gone. No. I can't die yet. You've got one way out of this. Give me your body. I'll save your sister. You expect me to trust you? I'm not forcing you. But then once you die, your sister's left to that bastard. Period. Am I gonna disappear? Don't know. Pray on it. Her name is Mari. I'm Akito Isuki. <laughs> now we're doing intros? Fine. Call me KK. Gave up my real name. KK. Please. Help Mari. She's always giving me crap about locking up. Hypocrite. Together. I'm... So I'm still here? Count your lucky stars. Huh? 
You're looking beautiful, sport. Piss off! So, you're gonna let me use your body, right? I never said that. And I'm... I'm still here! Everybody's gone. Did they all just vanish? Probably. And if their plan's working, communication with the outside would be cut off, too. You've been after this guy for a while? Yeah. Didn't stop me from getting killed, though. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get moving. What is this? You like it? Help yourself. Where'd you even get this? My old job afforded me certain special channels. Who are you? Let's just say I was one of this country's guard dogs, but I ran with a pack of strays. Well, whatever you are, you're no model citizen, that's for sure. Who are they? They were friends. Huh? Emphasis on the were. Our friend in the mask isn't shy about killing. We shouldn't have been either. So, you all fought against that guy together then? Everything on this map falls within the barrier. But you saw what happens. Anyone who touches the fog inside vanishes. Barrier? Are you saying that everyone in Shibuya is gone? Yeah. At least 50 to 100,000 will have vanished by now. Probably more. That can't be! I'm not really concerned with the body count, though. What matters is that your sister and our man are somewhere in here. Trail's gone cold. He might have caught on to us and bolted. Oh well. Given the circumstances, I say we take a detour. There's a big shrine not too far from here. Might be able to find something we can use. Let's go take a look. That seems like kind of a long shot. Never know till you try. After all, I found that bow of yours inside a shrine. You mean stole? All property is theft, kid. Do you think he's here? With any luck. Wait! Can <clears throat> you feel that? Let's run! No! 
I'm taking it back! go today you never visited dad's grave when it was his time either are you just running away again nothing's gonna change if you won't face it I'm not I'm not running I just you don't get it Then, why am I still... Zoe... That means... Grumpy old man. <laughs> sure seemed to have hit it off, huh? So, you want to do some rescuing? Sure you're up to it? With a toy like that? <laughs> you need his power. Right? Yeah. But I don't know where they took him. <laughs> so... You haven't realized it yet, then? Your connection to him. It's still there, you know. What? <sighs> this. Give this to him for me. It's important. Is this? Is he here? Take him. Get him. 
Stop for drinks. Took long enough. You sound like you knew I was coming to rescue you. Rescue? Let's not dress it up. You're here because you need my power. Am I wrong? Where aren't you? A woman at your safe house gave it to me. Huh. So she's still alive? No. Huh. Dead, but still nosing into my business. This your family? Is that... Are they why you're... Got nothing to do with you. All that matters is we're on the same path. Me and you. I'll hang on to this. So... You coming, or what? Is that how you ask someone for a favor? I'm not asking. It's an offer. And neither of us has much choice. <laughs> Hope you don't regret it. Shotgun? What? Uh, sorry. I wasn't talking to you. I met your roommate in there. Rinko. Looks like neither of us made it as worm food. And you're still such a charmer. But I'm glad you're okay. Anyway, the source of that fog's inside the Sengoku Center building. Huh? Hmm. How generous of you. Don't flatter me. Just get moving. You made it. So, what's going on? That Tori gate's only visible at a high ambient ether level. This device messes with ether levels to stop that from happening, so it'll remain invisible. That's how they're spreading the fog in secret in the mortal world. 
must have seen you two cleansing gates and decided to do something about it. Great. So let's smash it and get out of here. Sure. If you want a bunch of compressed ether blowing up in your face. Even your affinity won't save you from that. It needs to be shut down carefully. Hold it. Push pause on the techie stuff. We've got company. Okay. The local source of the fog should become visible now. So you mind telling us why you didn't mention there'd be visitors here? Well, they had set things up so that we'd have to come deal with this machine. So obviously, they were gonna set a trap here. Come on, use your head. Why'd you think I called you here? Oh, it's on me for not using my head, right? Don't pull the shit again. KK, we've got more pressing things to do. He's right. Stay safe out there. Uh... Anyway... Thanks, Rinko. My pleasure. Thanks for having my back. Oh no. A barrier? Okay. Yeah. We're fine. But what about you? <sighs> Nothing to worry about. You sure about that? I'm me again. Plus, I picked up a few things from that whole experience. I know where the fog around here is coming from now. I'll fill you in. Now? Oh, uh, uh, let me find a pen or something. No need. The nice thing about being in this form is that the physical doesn't hold me back anymore. I'll just transmit it to you now. The rest is up to you, boys. People's spirits. All the ones they've been gathering. But there are so many. You get less worked up over things. The longer you're a detective. Couldn't do our jobs if we let everything get to us. But every now and then, you still run into cases that just knock you flat on your ass. Case in point right here. Yeah, I... I get what you mean. That feeling in your chest, screaming at you to make it right. Hold on to that feeling. It's what gives life meaning. We can't have our lab rats scurrying from their cages. You! KK! Wait! Where's Mori? A fascinating reunion. But that will have to wait. The ceremony is soon to commence. I have no more use for either of you. It is unfortunate, but you are both beyond salvation. What are you saying? Give her back! Alas, you are too late to speak your final farewells. She has already taken her place atop the final stage. She's what? There remains work yet undone. Critical work. I shall have these two look after you in my stead. You 
really think this shit can bring back the dead? KK. What are you talking about? This crackpot wants to harvest a ton of human souls to connect our world to the next. His wife got sick and died five years ago. And now he's trying to bring her back. I'm sure his daughter would be so proud of what dear old dad has become. the deal? Who are they? Forgive me, but I believe I have misled you. My wife and daughter understand me perfectly. I have but to beckon their souls back from beyond. Special credit must be given to my daughter. This barrier would not exist were it not for her. You Sacrificed your own kid for this? The body is not but a vessel for the soul. Why must one be attached to a thing so ephemeral? This guy is cracked! The time is nearly upon us. I shall have her. Keep you company. I'm sorry. Go after him. She's still not done. Stay out of this. Leave the dirty work to a pro.
sure as hell isn't anything good, though. Hey, don't go getting cold feet on me now. I won't. Let's go. Seems he's making progress with the ritual. Luckily, the power from that Kifa that you got there ought to help you find some more toady gates. Just keep moving. Following, KK? About Erika. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I'm used to getting my hands dirty. I should have made up my mind sooner back then. Before it was too late. We can still turn this around. It's not over yet. We're a team now. The three of us. Akito is right. This fight is just getting started. do then? Simple. We cut straight through. I'll lead the way. Come on. Take a look. Rinko's custom ride. Damn. But what's custom about it? Got some kind of anti-spirit tech, from what I heard. In theory, it ought to get us through the fog. How about in reality? Quiet. Give me a sec. It won't even start. Of course not. There's no gas in it. Plus, the custom turbocharger's busted. We'll need a replacement turbine wheel to get it running again. The real problem's the fragrant underworld oil. The... what? This is no ordinary bike. It's got the power to cut right through that fog. But to do that, it needs special oil from the other side. And we're fresh out. Okay. So how do we get some? Dunno. You... <sighs> I have all day to wait for you to pick up, so I rigged this phone to ring periodically and play back a recording. No need to talk, just listen to my instructions. That voice... it's Ed. You're in the garage, which means you're trying to use Rinko's motorbike. And now, you don't know where to find the necessary fragrant underworld oil. I've told you before, KK, but I'm sure you'll have forgotten, am I right? Smart guy. Kiss my ass. You can find the oil in places where the underworld's interference is especially potent. Anywhere you can see it spilling over into our world. This should be readily apparent. Now get searching. Signing off. Akito, let me take over for a little bit. I'll fix it. Okay.
Let's roll. Let's. This is where I died. Full of regret. But thanks to you two, I could put that behind me now. You're taking off. I have to. Got nothing left keeping me here. Sorry I couldn't stick around. Till the end. It's all right. I can't quite bring myself to believe in the afterlife. Even though I'm like this. After all, if it were real, people would be happy to embrace death. Live. Embrace your life. Didn't you say he was trying to bring his family back? You heard him before. As far as he's concerned, bodies are just wrappers for the soul. Pawns for him to use. There's no way we can avoid fighting her? No. Anyone in our way goes down. No exceptions. Sorry for her, but I'll put her out of her misery. Akito, you never even think of 
about me at all, do you? You only ever worry about yourself. You're just afraid I'll die because of you, aren't you? What's wrong? I heard this voice. It sounded like Mori. They're probably trying to mess with your head. Hey, now what? Akito. Akito! Let's go! Bari! So that puppet failed to even buy me some time. You asshole! The death of the body is a natural phenomenon. And in liberating our souls from their corporeal shells, we are returned to our true forms. Believe whatever horse shit you want, man. But when you drag in innocent people, you cross a line. People always decry the truth when forced to face it. However, soon you too will come to understand how meaningless these earthly vessels truly are. Keep your hands off her! I have all the souls that I require. I will use them to shatter the barrier between life and death. Your sister will be the final piece. A foundation for a new age. You should be proud. I'm away from her! The fall of the barrier will presage the rebirth of the world. And then I shall create a new paradise. Though modest it will be, a place where the souls of my wife and daughter will shine for all eternity. Like how you will! I've just come upon a wonderful idea. I shall create a paradise for this girl as well. Such a willful spirit as hers is a rarity indeed. Perhaps she will even lead this new world. A new Mary for a new age. No, a new Eve. Enough of your delusional bullshit! You're out of your mind! Am I now? Have you asked her? Why are you so certain that her spirit wishes to return to this shell? I... Can you imagine what your sister endures beneath these bandages? Remaining tethered to this body will only prolong her agony. You don't know that. Hey! Don't listen to this bullshit! Kill him now, or the world is done for! <sighs> Akito! Get it together! The time is nigh. The world rests on the precipice of transformation. A new age will dawn! My dream will be made manifest! Get up! Follow him! Mari... What do you want? 
Don't let him rattle you! Uh, now! Get up or I'll ditch you for good! Is that really all you got, Akito? I can do this myself. I'll kick my own ass. Akito, you just don't get in the way. So you're scared, right? Of how she might feel. Of finding out that maybe you did all this for nothing. You're afraid to hear the truth. What do you know? Nothing. I never even knew what my own family was thinking. That's why you need to go find out for yourself. Okay, okay. I'm not stopping now. Are you with me? I am. Let's go. I gotta ask her myself. You can't die yet. I got this. <laughs> Knew I lived fast, but I never thought I'd be off in myself. KK. Let's move. Time for a jaunt into the abyss. Right. Let's go. This is it. Yeah. He's in there. And so is your sister. You ready? Such a shame it is. Neither of you can appreciate the wonders of the journey that awaits your loved ones. I came here to talk to Mari. You're not stopping me. Oh, and how will you do this? She has words to speak no longer.
has opened. And now, for the final step. Let times flow. What is happening? was not mistaken. The two realms connected at last. When the souls of humanity are freed from their mortal prisons, they shall be made pure. I shall finally be made one with my family again. 
<laughs> we will exist in eternal paradise. <laughs> Unshackled from loss and sorrow. <laughs> The end of the line. On December 10th, and Mom, on June 9th, I didn't forget. Of course, I... I couldn't ever forget. Never. I won't keep pretending it doesn't hurt. I'm gonna live. KK. Don't get yourself possessed again, Akito. Most wraiths aren't half as charming as I am. Yeah, you're a real charmer. Can't get you out of my head. You ought to be grateful.
you. Rest in peace. Okay, okay. Oh. Mm-hmm.